Uh, next week on the programme, Mr Picnic will return, also Brendan Burns, and we will be doing one more time uh, the Weather Cam Challenge. And are we doing Britain's Gayest Man will be the following week. We'll finish it in the final week. That will be our final uh, attempt at that. Before we go to Slovenia, let's first of all welcome our Slovenian translator who's been with us all day. It's Frazier lookalike, Boris Czerny. Here he is, look. <laughs> Hey, I'm okay, John. Now, listen, we didn't think you were coming on today. Uh, how, how's your week been? What have you made of the show? Oh, I've been enjoying basically yeah? being here, actually. Yeah. 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 But we haven't asked you to do very much translating. Unfortunately, but, you know, I get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it has been really nice having you uh, along. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to do very much with you because, again, everyone just seems to speak better English than anybody here. So we'll, we'll see what goes on. So let's now, finally, for the last time, uh, hook up with Slovenia and the Eurovision jury spokeswoman. Her name is Moitza Mavic. Let's say hello to them. Sir, Hello, you look Johnny. great. This is Slovenia calling. Yeah, you look great. I will destroy you. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely to have you back here. And by the way, uh, you know, in, use that three second delay to you know, read quietly amongst yourselves, why don't you? <laughs> uh, now, you're going to be on Saturday night. You're going to be being the, uh, the Slovenian jury yes. spokeswoman. Uh, how, many people are, how many people are going to be watching you as you deliver the, uh, the, uh, the results? Well, usually, I think two million people. Two million people? Watch the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. Oh, but, but your television audience, you know what your television audience around the world mm -hmm. is going to be? How... Yeah, TV audience. TV audience is going to be two million people. <laughs> really? <laughs> 200 million. Oh, 200 million people, right. <laughs> well, okay, some millions. I don't know, come on, don't be so tough. Does that make you nervous at all? No, not yet, actually, because we are having quite a good time over here yeah. with all your guys and gays. Um, <laughs> we were just... Um, We've sent gays well, out to you? Um, working with... In, in Did we the send a days. shipment of gays? <laughs> wow. No, guys, and, and imagine they're still using the gents section of, of the toilet. So I think this is good news. <laughs> Can I, can I ask you something? And this is something that, um, is there something that you could do for, oh, hang on. Could you, could you possibly find a way when you're giving your votes, when you're announcing to Europe, could you find a way of getting the word buttress into the, uh, <laughs> any chance of that? Is this already the I do part? Um, yeah. I don't understand. Okay, maybe, maybe that was a little ambitious. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's try something else. What if, Moitza, um, seriously though, could, could you perhaps have InVision in the screen, sort of like a, an RDA mug or something? This is a, this is a Radio Stoke mug, <laughs> but uh, an RDA mug or some piece of merchandise or something like that, would that be possible? Are they, you know, are they fairly draconian about that stuff or could you think you could get away with something like that? Yeah. Getting better. Go on. <laughs> well, we're having to work for everything tonight, aren't we? Uh, all right, Moitza. So, so you would you would not be prepared to hold a mug in shot? <laughs> well, there are so strict rules, you know. And, all right. Um, okay. Well, how about this? How about this? But I lo I, lo I lost somehow somehow I lost contact to our crew, the Slovenian crew in Denmark. So it's obviously really hard go hardcore going on in, in Copenhagen. Right. <laughs> Wait, so when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> well, I'm quite all right, thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you could do us a favour, what if when you were announcing your vote, are you, are you seated or standing? Well, usually I'm standing. Standing. Could you at one point perhaps just tug your ear, just naturally just go like that, just do that. Yeah. Don't get into it too much, but just that. Uh. And then the, the, you know, the many people watching our program would know that you had sent a little signal out to us. Okay, it's a deal. Really? Fantastic, we'll be looking out for that. Yeah. Right. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Moitza, I believe now that you have something else for us, is that correct? 
Oh, uh, yes, we have our special guest over here in the studio with so many titles, I really need to read them. <laughs> it's the RDA oh. correspondent, the observational comedian, and children's transforming toy, oh, yeah. Cosmos Transmutozoid. There he is. Hi, Cos. <laughs> so lovely to have you here. Thank you, Thank you. Great to be here. John? John? Yes, Cosmos. Look at me. You are getting on my nerves. I will destroy you. <laughs> Moitza has stolen my catchphrase. I'm currently having sex with her. <laughs> Magnetically. I will destroy her. I'm swept up in Eurovision fever. <laughs> Oh, this must be this Hong Kong software of yours, huh? No, but anyway... Um... That's right, I'm running Windows 95. I'm so sorry. What's that? No, but really, do you like the Slovenian entry, honestly? The Slovenian entry? Is that a sex position? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no, no genitalia. It's, it's a song, Paul. You mean the Slovenian entry yeah, in the Eurovision Song Contest? Whatever. Yes. I enjoy it. I especially like the section between 300 megahertz and 311 megahertz. Uh, uh, which part is that? The end. <laughs> Great Britain's entry has frequencies which disrupt my electromagnetic orientation hardware, so I fall over when I hear it. Also, I don't like the Portuguese entry. Oh, why is that? It's shit. <laughs> but tell me, have you been able to, to look around Ljubljana in Slovenia a little bit? Yes, I have. And I was filmed by a NATO tracking satellite. <laughs> Take a look at this. Wow. Then I went busking. My act is a simple one. I parade my awesome biomechanical exoskeleton before their astonished eyes and they quake with fear. Plus, I'm learning how to juggle. I hope to turn professional. I must find a bigger audience. And he? Why is he here? <laughs> uh, he, he's my bodyguard for my trip to Slovenia. Do you think it's a dangerous place that anyone, anybody would hurt you without him? Um, uh, are you more I sure mean, with him? Maybe someone would yeah, he, hurt you seeing you with him. No, he, he would destroy them. I think you're fine. Destroy? Yeah. That, that is his... Is he his, destroyable? He's what, renowned back in London for his slogan, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Nothing is indestructible. If you put your mind to it, you can destroy anything. As long as it's, well, there. Haven't really worked this bit out. Everything's indestructible. Okay, fine. Thank you very no, much. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Cosmos, thank you very much for your song for Europe. And, uh, and Moitza, thank you very, very much for, uh, for taking part. I believe you're coming down to see us on Tuesday, so, so we look forward to seeing you very, very much. And we wish you the yes, very best, best of luck on Saturday. And we hope, and if you can do that ear tugging thing, that would be very, that would be very uh, nicely appreciated. So the best to you, and good luck to Definitely Slovenia. Thank you very much, good. Moitza. And thank you, Cosmos. Have a nice evening. See you Bye. later. Goodbye, Bye. Goodbye, 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 Goodbye. Goodbye, I will destroy you. Now, also, and Boris. Thank you. Sterling work once again, Boris. Thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you very Nicely much. done. I enjoyed it. I don't it. know how we got through the week without you. And please, a big round of applause for our translator, all that. Boris Cheney, all week. Uh, next week and uh, next Monday, we're coming to you. This show is coming to you from the Royal Albert Hall. And uh, we have already, I think, had quite a lot of ticket inquiries. But there it is. For Christ's sakes, if you have any interest in this program, please come and see us. Uh, <laughs> we may get as many as 200 people in there, and that would be a real triumph for us. So do, please. Uh, write in and come and see us. Uh, also, on tomorrow's show, we are celebrating, this is a very big show for us, the 10th anniversary of the Ilford Exchange shopping mall uh, with Paul Ross. Uh, no job too small. And uh, it's, uh, it's also Adult Learners Week, uh, the climax of which is tomorrow's National Job Swap Day. And we're going to be entering Job Swap Day with uh, show regulars Cosmos Transmutazoid and Mr. Picnic, who will be swapping jobs uh, for the day. And uh, also we'll be following up on our big story of last week. All week um, we were uh, 
uh, hooking up with Eurovision state broadcaster RTS Television Slovenia. And this is all part of the, the run-up to last uh, Saturday's Eurovision Song Contest. And basically, we were talking to someone called Moitza Mavets, who is the announcer of the results from the Slovenian jury. And I don't know if you saw uh, the show last Thursday, but, but <clears throat> in the middle of it, we were just kind of asking if she would do something on air when she gave the results of the Slovenian jury to just acknowledge our presence in general. This, I think we have a clip of that. Could you at one point perhaps just tug your ear, just naturally just go like that, just do that. Yeah. Don't get into it too much, but just that. Uh. And then the, the, you know, the many people watching our program would know that you had sent a little signal out to us. Okay, it's a D. Really? Fantastic, we'll be looking out for that. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. But she really couldn't have been more bored, let's face it. Um, so anyway, so what happened is we tuned in on Saturday and in front of a live audience, I think, of 38,000 people in uh, Copenhagen's Parken Stadium uh, and I think to a, a Europe-wide audience of two or three hundred million, this happened. And the 12 this points is... go to... Estonia! Very nice. <laughs> anyway. She's a bit more subtle about it. <laughs> but anyway, it was a nice gesture. Uh, so this is broadcast, as I think so, two, three hundred, I think the BBC figure is now saying six hundred million, which I think is just us inflating ourselves out of all proportion. Uh, but nevertheless, we somehow affected the 46 Eurovision.